What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm trying to set a fire with only magnifying glass and the sunlight. And I'm gonna try it in a fresh leaf, some styrofoam, piece of a wooden crate, um, some cardboard, highly flammable wood bark, corn, plywood and some paper towel. So let's go. Alright, the first one is going to be a fresh leaf. And here's the magnifying glass, which I'm going to use. It's a small one, you can get it in any school store you, you can pretty much visit. Alright, and here you can see, as soon as I concentrate the light enough, it starts to burn. And this is the vapor, and it starts to smoke once the vapor, once the water is gone. So you can see the leaf is going to burn. If I had, if I had a bigger magnifying glass, it'll burn much more vigorously. But now there's a bug. But now let's try the same with the corn. All right, and pretty rapidly it starts to smoke, and you can see these lighting, cool lighting effects which is the light being refracted by the smoke which is quite cool although I tested it it's not gonna pop so you can't make popcorn this way it's only going to smoke and burn but anyway it's a cool but anyway it's a cool thing to see right just take a look how much damage only the sunlight can deal to a corn right Let's go with another one. Right. This diaphone, it's going to be a little tricky because it's white and it reflects most of the light. But never mind. We can see some slight movement, which means it's dealing some damage to this diaphone, but it's not near enough to set it on fire. It only kind of melts it. So you can definitely see a dent now. It even smoked for a bit, but not, not nearly enough. All right, I'm just gonna move this, and here you can see. Once you see the shadow, it made some dents. It melted some of the materials, but never mind. Let's go with a piece of wooden crate. This one should burn much faster, and indeed it did. You can see how cool it can be. You can do pretty much anything with it. You can even draw something if you know how to do it. You know, you can make some pretty nice patterns using this. But I might consider doing it in the future. Right, it smokes really good. But the only thing you need to to make sure is that it's a sunny day and it's a bright day. So the only thing you need is a bright day. You don't need it to be as hot. You just need a bright day because it's all about light. All right, that was a pretty much burnt, all right. And now look what happens when we go to the paper towel. That's also white. Right. I'm concentrating as much light as possible. You know, if I, if I were any closer to the paper towel, you know, the light circle would get bigger and not concentrated. This is the maximum. So, the paper towel seems to be indestructible by the light. I was really amazed when I found out that it's not going to burn. No matter how much you concentrate, it always re reflects all of the light. Pretty much impossible. All right, let's see the highly flammable wood bark. Now this should be interesting. This is what I use to set things on fire when I need it, but I'm using my light instead of this. So it burns quite good. And as you can see, it smokes quite heavily. But it's not catching the fire. All right. It did some damage, but nothing significant. Now let's go with the cardboard. 
this could be interesting because a lot of times you see these and you set them on fire and it just burns. But here we can see the same thing. It just leaves a mark. So no visible flames. Only burn sign. Alright. It's not gonna burn today, will it? Yeah, it's smoking. It's interesting how you can do this with only sunlight. Alright, that was a cardboard, which obviously didn't catch fire. Alright, let's try something different. If you're wondering if I'm doing anything different, I was trying to go for a fire on a thinner part of the cardboard. Now, let's try to do this with the plywood. Alright. Well, it only smokes just like majority of the items I tried. So, just a burnt mark. I even tried some combinations with dry leaves and and the cardboard to try to set the things on fire, but it didn't work. As you can see, it only smoked for a bit, and that's that's pretty much the whole thing. I even tried some aluminum foil, but it failed. And the next day finally arrived. I was eager to try it again to see if I can set the things on fire finally using the same piece of the cardboard while the day was much brighter and as you can see results are immediate right. that thing caught fire quite nicely and then the party began I was adding more and more things and look at this beautiful wood bar it just burns so great now it, it does smoke a bit but it's okay let's add something even worse than that a styrofoam is gonna be good all right some styrofoam not yet ah here it is all right, we set a fire but only using the sunlight and the magnifying glass. Now how cool it is. You can set fire by many things, by friction, by light, by heat, by anything. <coughs> and it's <spoke> quite good. <coughs> now remember, don't inhale these fumes because it's highly poisonous. Now the styrofoam and even the tree bark didn't didn't really prove to be healthy all right it almost got my phone on fire but anyway as you can see it burns it works and you can do that at home I even add some branches here so that's a nice thing we just proved the theory that you can use the small magnifying glass and the sunlight to set things on fire so it works And for the bonus part, I even tried it in a flower.
In fact, I was so amazed by doing this that I started to burn pretty much anything I could thought of. Like this dry leaf. So that was all for this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and help me out to get to a thousand. And see you in the next one.